scared. Oh, I hope that nothing goes wrong. Don't worry one bit. Doc Bedford's on our payroll. Yeah, we see that he gets a bottle every so often. We're well organized, if you ask me. Guess I'm not as tough as I thought. Come on, jerk. I didn't come here for nothing. I gotta be initiated. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is beginning to cost me six and eight bucks a day. I need money and I need it bad. I'm desperate, Cho. I didn't know I was going to graduate to this stuff. They all do, honey. Well, what about that job at Brown's Real Estate? I'll talk to you about it right now, but first you need a shot to sort of calm your nerves. I know I've got the shakes, Joe, but I haven't any money. Don't let that worry your pretty little head. I'm not going to charge you. I thought we were pals. Here's the six dollars you wanted. Remember, Mr. Brown, it's only a loan. I promise to pay you back. That makes eighteen dollars in three days. You won't have much coming when payday comes. I have so many bills to pay it. It's just terrible being a poor working girl. I'm only glad to help. You're a nice girl, June. Why, thank you, Mr. Brown. I could be awfully good to you, Mr. Brown. I'm just full of loving. I bet you could, too. Say about... Fifty dollars worth? You're talking about money? Oh, let's call it a loan. I still have bills to pay, and, and you'll get your money back. I wish I knew what those bills were for. You already owe me thirty dollars. You mean I'm only good for thirty dollars? No, honey, I didn't mean that. But this will make it eighty dollars. Please don't. I, I'm already falling in love with you. Oh, 